beautiful day here in L.A., huh? Oh, yeah, I spent the whole day today on Facebook. Um, <laughs> let me ask you guys this. You guys ever Google something? You notice on your Facebook wall there's an ad for the thing you Googled? Yeah. Well, what the hell is that? I was on my Facebook wall today. There was an ad for sexy cougars. <laughs> I was like, hey, Google, that was between us. <laughs> What the hell are you doing, buddy? I thought I could tell you anything. You're blabbing the neighbors? Take it easy. Now I'm all nervous around Google. Now it's like that guy I can't trust anymore. You know? Now every time I Google something, I'm very ambiguous. Now I'm like, uh, spicy Latinas for a friend. <laughs> yeah, the internet's a crazy thing. I just got an email from a hot gay guy. This hot gay guy emailed me, gorgeous gay man, smoking hot. What a bummer I'm not gay. This guy's a 10. Yeah. A hot gay guy having a crush on you, it's kind of like finding a million pesos. <laughs> now you're like, oh man, I can't do much about this now, but once I cross that line, I'll be set. <laughs> I, uh, I like the gays, any gay guys here? Well, <laughs> that is statistically impossible. Uh, <laughs> Gay guys are the best and nothing but perks, you know? They're nonviolent, they fix up neighborhoods, and they're generally smart people. You never really meet an ignorant gay guy. Now, you never meet a gay guy who's like, I only love three things. My truck, my gun, and dick. <laughs> yeah, you never hear that, you know? And I had a guy say to me once, hey, Mark, you like gays so much, but what if you had a gay son? I wouldn't mind having a gay son. Having a gay son's like finding a french fry in your onion rings. <laughs> you know, you're like, well, it's not what I expected, but I like these too. <laughs> yeah. uh, I am not gay, do like the gals. I uh, went on a date with a girl once, uh, went pretty well. Went back to her place, I take out a condom. She goes, whoa, 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 where'd you get that thing? I was like, well, they were free at the bar. <laughs> she was like, oh, that's gross. I was like, well, that's where I got you. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, and you know, these are all just jokes. I don't mean to offend the gals. I try to be a good feminist, I do. Uh, which is tough nowadays, because some women are feminists and some women aren't. So as a guy, how do I know how to act? Like some girls you open the door for and they're like, wow, a gentleman, thank you very much. Other girls you open the door for them, they're like, what, you think I can't open my own door? I'm like, whoa, hey, I'm just trying to sleep with you. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez Louise, how do we get here? I do feel sorry for women when it comes to sex, though. I think you guys get screwed over, you know? Guy has sex with a lot of girls, he's a cool guy. Girl has sex with a lot of guys, everybody makes fun of her. That's not fair, it's a double standard. I hate when guys pull this move. They go, hey, you know, I uh, had sex with that girl, I'm the man. And you go, yeah, well, she had sex with him, too, and they go, oh, what a slut. <laughs> well, that's not fair, how come she's a slut now? How come she want a slut when she had sex with you? You never hear a guy say that. Whew, she banged me? What a whore. <laughs> Wow, you've got some problems, sister. Get your act together. This, this is a wake-up call. <laughs> I feel like we're so mean to promiscuous girls in this society, aren't we? Slut, tramp, she's loose, she's easy. Well, what is that? Don't we all like sex? Why are we getting mad at the one group giving it away? Yeah? No, we all like Banana Republic, but they have a sale. Nobody calls them a whore. Yeah? I don't get it. We got a black president now. Gay marriage is legal here, yet sluts are still oppressed. Yeah? That's the one group in this country that still gets stepped on. And I'm the only guy sticking up for these women. Right. Even women won't stick up for them. Those sluts are ruining it for everybody. No, you could put out two. <laughs> I genuinely don't understand. I feel like if we're gonna make fun of a group of girls, let's make fun of the prude girls, right? They're the boring, annoying ones. Let's kick them off the high horse. They've had it too good for too long. Right, yeah. Why do we reward these women? Well, I don't put out till three months into a relationship. Yeah, because you have nothing else to offer. Get a personality together. Come on, kick it up a notch. Let's go. Because <laughs> let's be honest, you know, prude girls, they're like mom and pop shops. We all pretend to like them, but they're more expensive and they close early. <laughs> Promiscuous girls are like Walmart, all right? Everybody makes fun of them. Everybody talks down to them. When you're inside one at four in the morning, you're like, man, I'm glad these are around. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks a lot. I'm Mark Rose.